Okay, Drake here, another recording on the EEV, no, no, this is JE Enterprise Electronics Lab, you can see the radios and the horns behind me, for some reason it smells a little funky here, I'm thinking we put something down here to evaporate, and I push some boxes to the other side, and the same thing gets smelled on the other side, but Whatever the case is, well, all the rest of the stuff here that I put together today, rusty blue parts, the timer for some lights that go on and off behind me. But anyhow, I've been here, haven't done a V vlog, uh, hasn't done a up life update vlog in a while, so got back from a few trips. Work is becoming extremely impatient about things and. My rule, my golden rule since last year and whatever, first off, I would love for this year to be over. The sooner the better. Any trip out of Cal, any time away from LA is a good time for me, as always, but having almost had no days off since last year. Um, I'll try to finish up two personal projects for every external project that I do. This way I don't run into a deficit because Managed to clean the room up. I'm going to probably have to tear up the shop room, hopefully this year, and remodel it. It sucks because I won't have a shop room for at least two to three months while my dad's remodeling it. But um, also getting rid of my credenza, so I got to take apart that. I got infected by mold, and I don't think it'll ever be come back. And speaking of mold, I just washed all my clothes and practically ruined a few of my. They say do not tumble dry, but unfortunately I don't have any source of 160 degree temperature to cook the bacterial, so. And I've tried other, I guess tea tree oil is hyper, what do you call it, a hydro, hydrophobic, so that probably helps, but who knows, because the attic smell came back again, and uh, last year, I did, around this time, I remember doing a complete wash of everything, and it wasn't until December-ish or so. No, it was actually, everything was fine until October, late October, when I got back from my trips, and I started noticing the uh, attic smell again, and uh, some of it developed in the closet, and even in storage, where I threw all the plush in there, but I bagged each one separately, so hopefully that survived. I don't know, because I, I'm beginning to think, Either A, someone's applying black magic on me. I'm about 200% sure because I'm well aware of Santa Maria magic because, well, when I was growing up, I've seen some pretty weird things in my time. So, but then again, I'm a technologist and technologists like us like to draw equations to everything and actually calculate, uh, calculate probability and things that result. With that being said, I, in, in as good as computer magic I'm with, I eat dragon magic too. So I don't know where to I'm going to end up with that, but as I'm going through my collection, I'm starting to realize nothing is made to last forever, and even if it did, a lot of the stuff you see behind me is pretty much inert, um, meaning that it's just there for decorations. Not saying the fact that I'm doing the same thing, but I live at home with family, which would rather see a family than decorations. So that doesn't put me in a good mood either. And not having my own office in LA doesn't really want me to put 110%. Oh, they gave me an office. It's a shared office. And every time I go in there to go watch my political view, apparently the other guy complains. So I can't do anything there about that. Because we're literally six, uh, six feet apart from each other. Barely. So that just makes things more of a mess. So I do come in on the weekend, get some of my stuff done. But like I said, I need to finish up two of my projects before I do the other. And I'm not going to be doing too many teak projects. Most of my, uh, I'll probably be updating the website in the next day or so, removing anything off of uh, development and stuff like that. Because I'll go back to just doing IT consulting stuff. 90 an hour, flat rate, keep it nice and simple. Um, one hour minimum on site, 30 minute, uh, 30 minute minimum on phone. Uh, I wish I could buy stuff, but right now, the way the economy is going, the way shitty ass LA traffic is going, I mean, I practically 
passed out when I stepped in here this room because of all the stop and go just to get, get across the last two miles. So yeah, In and Out Burger's been busy, which is good, but they're up into at least they're under ten dollars. They were above ten dollars. I think I saw eleven on the sign, and then all of a sudden dropped like two dollars. So I guess In and Out Head Burgers found a way to uh, cut some of their expenses down. I don't know how, but congratulations to them. Company I work for, Orbit, got some price increases in hot sheets, so they're probably keeping some of their special customers happy, as they always do. They're trying to keep some of their special employees happy, but I don't know if they really get this. There's a thing called inflation, and them moving from L.A. to the other side of town is not helping. They lost a lot of good employees, all the ones I hear, the da 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 ones, so I can't stand working there half the time. And even though we do have a quiet office, my office with no windows does not help either. So I don't mind being there on the weekends when I'm alone, but as far as it goes, it's just becoming more of a pain because that's pretty much what they threw me in the L.A. office in the last year that was there that just didn't help either. So um, I need my own office, and this office I have here is not really an office. It's a conference room. But being that I'm in a portable situation, I'm actually able to be mobile with my equipment. I mean, these devices has got so much more power in them today than they ever will. This is the other guy's phone, but unless I could port my number to it, I guess it's kind of useless to me. But I know certain people is trying to get people to save money, but... You got to remember, money is power at the end of the day. It doesn't matter how much you get. What it matters is what you can do with it. And right now, you can do less, less, and less. And being forced to buy off of like Amazon, I mean, that's a great company. Gave me some nice, good Amazon gift cards, but I haven't had a need to buy on Amazon. I find better deals on eBay right now. So I can't even get an eBay gift card from Amazon, number one. Number two, Amazon won't let me buy a Visa gift card from the points. So I'm looking for anyone who needs to buy something from Amazon. I can only find on Amazon. There are a few things I'm going to try to buy in the next couple of days before my Prime free Prime account wears out. But I'm cutting back on everything, at least until I get property or some sort of income source that I only have to spend 25% of my time to fuck around with and then 75% of the time I can do my projects again two to one ratio think of it that way you'll never get under your deficit if you're not doing two to one for example you might be working all day okay let's do the math you can figure out that it's, there's 24 hours in a day and you work about eight hours so that's not much and Okay, fine, but most people are going to end up working 14 hours because of their mindset. Now, 14 hours ain't a bad thing if you own it because you put more into it, but you can also choose on days you want to work zero hours. So you don't get that on a 40-hour work week. As a matter of fact, as the job becomes more demanding and things start to pick up like it is right now, wait a minute, I thought the economy is not doing well because everything is picking up. Well, that means everyone's just borrowing more. There's really only two ways to create money. Either you print it or you borrow it to existence. I mean, I'm one of the many few people willing to admit that savings suck. They really do. They're set at 0.05%, so you save money, you're losing value already, okay? So you might as well spend it. The question is, what do you spend it on? Well, this guy spends it on a lot of these collectibles, and Obviously, a lot of these are in inert, so they don't provide any value, but they may provide a different type of value. Historical value and performance are to one of a kind. This is the reason why guys like me fight against a lot of those people. Why we love downloading pirated stuff and things like that in the past, because, well, you know, if they say it's a victimless crime, which is actually untrue, because the same thing you copyright artwork and copyright any type of work, is you're providing some sort of royalty income. But regardless of who's the victim and how the victim ends up being is a different decision. So whether you steal from physical stores versus you steal from virtual stores. So either way, stuff stolen, uh, was it, what's that song go? Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. So yes, that's exactly what you end up with.
But at the end of the day, if everyone has an honest work and stuff like you see behind me never was created with a high price tag, it was created with by devoted people who wanted to create something new. So as we get to more globalization, we're losing a lot of that. And rather than having culture, and then maybe if some country makes something really unique, we'll go over there. Right now, businesses are looking for the lowest price work and the highest commitment. The problem is they aren't going to find any, so a lot of them are shutting down. Dollar General is a perfect example of that because you find bargain deals. Their stuff isn't the best top-of-the-line stuff, but people are happy to work there. Now they're all shutting down. Then I go find some place like Best Buy where they're all people who are pretty skilled to work there, but there's no customers. So where are they getting all their money from? And, of course, their stock is also doing fine, too, as well, because I guess they're, so, they're nationalized. They have no trouble. The only stores I'm seeing are like slave labor jobs that actually are doing well. Jobs where people actually enjoy working the places and, and coming in the morning and greeting customers, they're disappearing. And then mom and pop shops are on the verge. This one over here is actually doing really well, Henry Radio, even though he tells me not, but I'm looking it up myself. So I hate to see excuses, but people don't like to see it when you're doing well. And uh, instead of just running into a community of people who are free thinkers, which is what I prefer now because I think it might be time to move off of the community of you work hard, play hard, to you work hard, <laughs> you invest hard. So, and investment, by the way, doesn't mean the stock market. That's the assumption that everyone says is the stock market. There's many other things you can invest in. The question is, do you understand what an investment and what an expense is? And if anything, you have to add labor to to maintain as an expense. Unless, of course, the labor you have, the value of the property is going up in value. Uh, and it happens, and it doesn't happen, and I don't know where to go from there, but I'm pretty much done with a lot of things because I don't have my own property, so I can't choose what I want to invest in. And some people get ticked off when I find something they spend hours, days fixing and repairing, and in two seconds I already have the solution off the shelf for less than ten dollars. Yeah. So anyhow, there's my rant. Um, I did put a picture up, and I'll link it after this posting of the ten dollar gaming keyboard. He said it was sixty dollars. I think it's a ten dollar gaming. The USB cable was just so thin. He found a he found a, a Wi-Fi card cut the end off of it and says yeah I only need four wires it's just a straight through wiring and so I wired out and pin mapped it and I had a lucky guess it started working well I should say lucky guess because I knew which one were the voltage rails and I tried to explain to them USB signaling is pretty easy to figure out always try to figure out your voltage rails first then you can troubleshoot your signal rail signal system and again you gotta know if it's single-ended double-ended signaling not much different than people who work in the audio industry, just the two extra wires on the side. But hopefully, cleverly, they're usually labeled correctly. This is one of those times they weren't, so a little bit of reverse engineering was needed. But that's when you have this thing called a skill set. So you build that skill set, not when you read books, you actually build it by experimentation and seeing a lot of things. The problem is that when you start to see a lot of things, like you see in this room, I'll show you a picture around the room, you start to run into a situation where there's TMI. And when you run into TMI, as my dad says it all, I end up being clutter. He's not right, but he's also not wrong, because this whole room is an example of that. This place has been used as a conference and sort of a museum now, which is good because then you have your history. But it's bad because... This guy will never expand his business, will never grow his business, but no, he needs income. You do got to pay taxes. You got to pay utility bills. And he's got solar panel on the roof. I don't know what his utility bill is. And I may even talk to my dad. Maybe it's time for him to upgrade his solar panel. Seven and a half kilowatt ain't enough to charge your car. That's a 13 kilowatt battery. And then I got to run a dehumidifier because of this new moisture and climate change now, I guess, because it was hot seasons for 10 years now it's cold seasons and because of the cycle now i'm getting mold problems which is probably why the room that i moved into was completely remodeled when we moved in i'm pretty sure it was remodeled due to water damage it may have been possible that before it was sold to us 
um, someone inspected it and said you got to remodel it. So after they remodel it, they're out maybe fifty to a hundred thousand dollars of remodeling fee. So they so one of the uh, owners decided to sell it and living with multiple families in there. You can see where that became an issue and people had to take their stuff and yada 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 and all that property issue. We had issue even when we got into the house. We actually had trouble even um, kicking the people out. There was a group of people that wouldn't leave. So put that in this is 2012 era when I was doing a lot of the fandom just got my car because I totaled my last and my Toyota Scion and got my other one which is a Ford Escape 2012 model I love that car but uh, didn't take too much of shitty traffic of 2020 with all the new uh, hombres moving in that don't know how to fucking drive so yeah that's pretty much what happened so yeah the bad hombres ruined my life again so but, you know, that's how it goes now, so time to play a different game, and work will like me to finish this project with them, so I'll try to finish two more things tonight, but I need to go finish and send off a project to a client, so that'll be done, woohoo, that might be able to free up some time tonight to go mess around with another PFSense box, I've been having a lot of fun dicking around with routers, mine... I don't know if it's compromised. Best thing to do is back up the configuration and just reload the OS. I probably should anyways, because according to the documentation, it should be an EFI loader instead of an EFI loader with a GPT partition as opposed to NVR with a bootloader. It's supposed to prevent any bootloader worms, which are supposedly a combination of today's ransomware technology. It's own technology, yeah. So that might be something to go do real quickly tonight. I don't think it'll take more than an hour of downtime. But it may also be time to break up my VPN tunnel with Orbit and start rebuilding my network. Because I've got some better hardware, but the question is, do I use it for myself or do I sell the better hardware out for profit and just keep profiting that and just using the basic hardware I need at least until I step it up a notch and when I start making buku money on investments then maybe I'll get better hardware but right now there's really no need to get better hardware because it works fine and the only limitation I think is gigabit because I think I've only got a one gigabit card and I think the new modems now have a 2.5 gigabit interface I think at work I may have bought some spare cards but I might see I don't know, otherwise I have to check to see if that motherboard will take another slot. Because that motherboard itself is just an old Atom computer, but if you buy an Atom motherboard, like a quad core, some old SSD, some RAM sticks, you can keep the budget around $120, where you've got pretty much of a performance of a $500 router. So 500 to 1000 router on them, so it'll push through a gigabit with no problem. It won't do Wi-Fi. But our house has a full Wi-Fi network set up already. I'm running PoE. I think I'm running what I'm running. The last version of Edivax, and then now I'm getting a couple of other APs. I'm starting to come to a point where if I install my stuff, then people hire me. And they love to hire me because I'm now a professional. But if I just wait three to five years, they're going to hire me again to replace their equipment. Actually, they're not anymore because of this falling out I'm having with society. But they used to just keep hiring me in a cycle where I got so busy that I never focused on my own stuff. So now I'm focusing on my own stuff and I'm investing myself into things that really, really move me forward and grow, grow myself up. But I don't mind still doing other people's stuff. It's just, you know, I got to do it for some money. I can't do it for free anymore. Sorry, the free trial period has expired. You're going to have to pay. So... I'm getting kind of tired. I don't mind giving someone like my friend Ken some upper hand. I mean, kind of a fan of him because he is a uh, metalhead, but I mean, he did show me the video Dino, whatever it is, uh, Angus Mix 6. I like these weird bands that come up with these fantasy things. It makes you think what goes on in their mind in their daily life, or they could just be very comical, one of the two. But yes, uh, so that may be the uh, quick rant of that moment tonight. And uh, I guess until hopefully next week I'll post something. But I do am not liking Southern California one bit. Traffic is horrible this summer. I don't even want to go out anywhere. 
And every time I try to go out anywhere, I get so, like, don't want to spend any money, but I'm forced to spend money since I get back. All of a sudden, I got bills to pay. I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay. And none of the stuff I do is cheap anymore. I mean, my cell phone bill is $100 a month, and I might tomorrow go run to T-Mobile and just switch services because they're doing it cheaper. But then I found other cheaper ones, but the quality is way down and I may just have to take the lower quality it's not a big deal to me to lose quality because I'm a techie and I expect lower things you get what you pay for but you know you can't have everything really nice because every time you do the same group of person who is behind the scenes will also need to be paid more and if you're like my friend Bob he says well you get paid too much and he's actually right you do get paid too much the problem is He's also wrong because there's a thing called inflation. And as much as I don't like it either, I can't control inflation. But as he's being a collector of many things, yes, he can. Because his stuff he's collected in this whole room building could be valued zero dollars or could be valued multi-million dollars and insured if you're willing to pay for insurance for it, if someone's willing to uh, back you up. And again, that's the value of how things work. And a lot of people don't understand the true value of things. He does, but at the same time, he's lived longer than me to understand the uh, boom and bust cycle and seen it and can't do anything about it as much as I'm seeing the boom and bust cycle. And right now, even though it's supposed to be a bust cycle, it looks like a boom cycle. 2014, 2014, this is exactly what happened. The good news is I've been able to see it two times in 10 years. The bad news is I'm still stuck in fucking California.